So it's pretty interesting what's going on in America, and I don't think any of us are happy about it right now. And it comes down to one thing. The government wants to control you, and not just what you go eat, not just where you shop, not just what companies are woke and which ones aren't. They want to control your thoughts because at the end of the day, knowledge is power. If they put something into your brain, get you scared, make you stay home, they can do whatever they want. And that's what we saw during COVID in 2020. Now, COVID was very real. I actually just got it a couple of days ago and it sucked. But was it to the point where we needed to completely lock down everybody? Was it killing people on contact like some zombie virus? Did we need to wear face masks? No, we didn't. But that's what they did because they wanted to have mail-in ballots. They wanted everybody home during the election. And what are we, a couple of months away from another election? Guess what the World Health Organization just came out with? Another pandemic! Listen to this jackass, if you can even understand him. Today, the emergency committee met and advised me that in its view, the situation constitutes a public health emergency of international concern. I have accepted that advice. The detection and rapid spread of a new clade of MPOX in Eastern DRC, its detection in neighboring countries that had not previously reported MPOX, and the potential for further spread within Africa and beyond is very worrying. In addition to other outbreaks of other clades of MPOX in other parts of Africa, it's clear that a coordinated international response is essential to stop these outbreaks and save lives. Hey dude, how you doing? We don't give a fuck. Need I say anything more? The WHO, the World Health Organization, you, your suit, and your funny fucking haircut, we don't care. Who are you? What control do you have over anyone? You just think that because you get up here and say, somebody told me that monkeypox is going on in Africa, I'm going to deem it an international emergency. We've already been through this. We've already done it. You fooled a lot of Americans. Do you think you're gonna fool them again? So I have a simple message for you, sir. We will not comply. Try it again, man. Oh man, the World Health Organization said that you gotta wear a mask and stay inside and not talk to anybody and not do anything and be on social media all day that we control. And then we're just gonna feed you crap on social media. This is the way that they control people. They create something, they create a scare, they intimidate you, they say, oh, you can't do this. Guess what, man? If I get monkey pox and die, okay, that's what God had planned for me. But I'm not doing the whole, oh man, we can't go outside because you could get monkey pox. Bro, you could go outside right now and get hit by a truck. I mean, listen to Donald Trump talk about it. He called it straight out. Left-wing lunatics are trying very hard to bring back COVID lockdowns and mandates with all of their sudden fear-mongering about the new variants that are coming. Gee whiz, you know what else is coming? An election. They want to restart the COVID hysteria so they can justify more lockdowns, more censorship, more illegal drop boxes, more mail-in ballots, and trillions of dollars in payoffs to their political allies heading into the 2024 election. Does that sound familiar? These are bad people. These are sick people we're dealing with. But to every COVID tyrant who wants to take away our freedom, hear these words, we will not comply. So don't even think about it. We will not shut down our schools. We will not accept your lockdowns. We will not abide by your mask mandates and we will not tolerate your vaccine mandates. They rigged the 2020 election, and now they're trying to do the same thing all over again by rigging the most important election in the history of our country, the 2024 election, even if it means trying to bring back COVID. But they will fail because we will not let it happen. When I'm back in the White House, I will use every available authority to cut federal funding to any school, college, airline, or public transportation system that imposes a mask mandate or a vaccine mandate. Thank you very much. Kind of said it better myself. I really hope a lot of people out there have learned their lesson the first time around on this because I know most people who have taken the vaccine regret it. I mean, how could you not? 
with all the crap that they said about it before, oh man, once you get this, you're good, oh. Then why have people gotten COVID four, or five, six times after they got the vaccine? Then they change it to, oh, well, it just makes the symptoms less. It's not what I've heard. This is tyrannical and it's a threat to America. And it's not the monkey pox, it's not COVID, it's not any of that stuff. It's what these people want to do in response to it. And it's lock us down, isolate us so that they can control us.